You are living the American dream and are extremely wealthy. You decide to give back. Who would you select and why? You are living the American dream and are extremely wealthy. You decide to give back. Who would you select and why? George Sweet. That's a good question. I, I'm happy to think about that. It gives me an opportunity to plan for when I am a wealthy millionaire. And what would I do with all that money? Well, first, my family, they should get their own money because it wouldn't be fair. There's so many needy people out there. And so I would not give it to one particular group or one particular organization. I think the best way is to spread it out. You see these TV shows where uh, they send somebody out with money to give away to needy people and they go into different charities and I think that's a great way to do it. You go undercover, you spend some time with the charity, with the organization, you see what their needs are, what they're doing with the money, give out some money to help them in their cause and then you move on to somewhere else because there's so many needy people throughout this country. Now of course, I said I wouldn't take care of my family, of course I would share some money with them and make sure everybody's comfortable. But you see some of the stories of people with need, and, and I don't know how you could not help them out, not want to share that money, and just build up the, uh, you know, your personal uh, goodwill as well. You feel better about yourself while you're helping other people. So that's what I would do, share my wealth with other people. Thank you very much. Contestant number seven, Tim Wilson. You are living the American dream and are extremely wealthy. You decide to give back. Who would you select and why? You are living the American dream and are extremely wealthy. You decide to give back. Who would you select and why? Tim Wilson. wealthy, extremely rich, that means probably everybody hates you. Now you may wonder, how do I know this? Because I watch TV. You ever notice that on TV? When there's a rich guy and a bunch of other people running around and somebody kills somebody and you go all the way through the show and at the end you figure out the rich guy did it. You ever notice that? Or when you've got a situation where there's something going wrong and the rich guy's really evil, he's nice to dress, nice in a suit. You see the guy in the suit, you know, that's the bad guy. So if I was rich, I would have to be evil, right? Like the Despicable Me guy. You see that? You remember that movie? Despicable Me? Yeah, just like that. Starbucks, choo, 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 choo. Freezing everybody as they went up to the Starbucks counter. In case you didn't see Despicable Me, by the way, the scene in Starbucks, seems to be a Starbucks, and all these people are waiting in line for coffee. And this guy, the despicable character, you know what I'm talking about, goes up with his freezing ray and freezes everybody all the way down the line so we can get to the front of the line and get the coffee. So that's the guy. 
So the question is, who would an evil person give all their money to? Well, North Korea comes to mind. Other places, other people, something evil. I guess one of those Bond villains. I need a Bond villain. Yeah, I'd give my money to a Bond villain. If there wasn't a Bond villain, I'd sponsor a Bond villain ship and start it up and get it going. Because as a rich person, I've got to do my evil duty and do it the right sort of way. So if I was a rich person and all the money I could and could just give money out, I'd give it to a Bond villain. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, we have all the ballots. Okay, they're going to be busy for a while, and let's bring up our division governor, Charles Chapman, for announcement about the conference. Fellow Toastmasters, guests, announcements. B South is having a contest. Miss Melissa, what day is your contest? The 20? 26. 26 at 530 Five. Willis Tower. Mm -hmm. Be there or be square. We like to support the downtown group. I want to get that announcement <coughs> so we can get more people in to see what's going on here. Second of all, we're having a spring conference. Now, the spring conference is uh, something we put on every spring. And the reason for it is to bring in a, a speaker. So we see what we're, getting at, what we're getting for our money. And again, they're bringing back Miss Fripp. Miss Fripp is the lady who trains professional speakers to go out and make money. She donates her time to Toastmasters because she likes to give back. I guess she's not as rich as the contestants were. <laughs> but we'll take it. The one thing I wanted to say about Ms. Fripp is it's a crowded affair. She's going to speak in the morning at the Achievers Breakfast. 
anyone in the area who has an education award, King Toastmasters is buying you breakfast. The only trick is 7 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. The spring conference is the 25th and 26th. On the 25th, is the people from this particular contest is going to be there for the district, I mean the district, yes, contest. So that's 7 o'clock Friday night and 7 o'clock Saturday morning for the breakfast. Now lunch is around noon, 11.30 noon. And what's going to happen is Ms. Fripp is going to speak again. She's going to give a keynote type of presentation. And she's going to invite some of the audience up. Last time it was so crowded, <coughs> we had maybe 800 people. There wasn't no seats. The best way to, to get something out of Ms. Fripp, Fripp is to buy lunch. I think lunch is about $25. But you get to set up clothes, and you don't have to stand in the back. So since last time we had so many people, they decided to bring in these big, large screens on each side of the room just to give you a view. I want to encourage everyone to come. Bring a friend. This could be a, a membership draft for you. $125 and your whole club can go. Right now it's $45 a person. But if the club was to pay you can have an open house membership drive, and we need to drive some membership in our area. This is a good way to do it. And last but not least is the International Speech Contest. What I want to say about that contest is the winner is going to have to have their shots. I mean, you can't go over there without shots and a passport. So I want people to, who are going to go over there and cheer them on to get their shots and passports too. I would love to go. I don't know yet. And what else are we having in the district? Are we missing anything? We have Talk Up Toastmasters. This is a program that's set up where you, everywhere you go, just talk up Toastmasters. This is a good thing. We have certain contests. I want to encourage everyone to use D30 website. It's for you. There's a lot of things up there that would help you in your clubs. And that's all the district information I want to give. And I think we'll I'll give it back to the Toastmaster. You want me to adjourn? Yeah. Thank you. I think it's time for an overdue break. And if you would pick up your, your clock, your phone or something that's synchronized, I have 6.55. Is that what you have? Central time? <laughs> and we make it 10 minutes. Linda and Bill are graciously, and I think Northern Trust too, right? Yes. Provide the refreshments, so eat it up, consume it, washroom is all the way in the back, and come back at 7.05.